Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Here we are at Brightest Life, and today we'll be talking about tips on how to deal with picky eaters. For parents, dealing with picky eaters can be very stressful. But parents should realize that children's nutrition shouldn't be frustrating because there are strategies to help prevent power struggles between you and your child during mealtimes. These tips can also help boost your child's overall nutrition and can also help establish good eating habits. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive right in! Most kids get plenty of variety and nutrition in their diets over the course of a week. Your child may not have developed a mature preference for food yet, but here are some tips to assist them in their diet journey throughout their younger years. Tip number one, learn to establish respect on your child's appetite or the lack thereof. Don't force your child to eat a meal or snack, especially if the child isn't hungry. You also shouldn't bribe or force the child to eat certain foods. This will only worsen the power struggle between the kid and their meal. Also, being coercive to your child may lead to mealtime anxiety and frustration or become less sensitive to their own hunger and fullness cues. Give small portions of food to your child to avoid overwhelming them and give them the choice to independently ask for more food if they want to. Be consistent with a mealtime routine. Meals and snacks should be served at consistent schedules every day. If the child chooses not to eat a standard meal, a regular snack time can help them eat nutritious food. Some healthy appetite fillers you can give with food are milk or 100% fruit juice. You can also opt to offer water between meals and snacks. But just be careful with doing this frequently because letting the child fill up on juice, milk, or snacks throughout the day might decrease their appetite for meals. Tip number three, have patience in introducing new foods to the child. Young childs may touch or smell new foods or they may even put small bits into their mouths and take them out back again. Hence, the child may need repeated exposures to the new food before they take the first bite. To help your child get familiar with new food, it can be helpful to talk to the child and explain the food's color, shape, aroma, and texture, and not solely relying on whether this food tastes good. It's also advisable to serve new foods with the child's past favorite foods. Provide healthy choices for your child until they become familiar with the new food. Tip number four, prepare for the full family and don't be a short order cook. It is not advisable to make a separate meal for your child if they don't like the original meal you have prepared because doing so promotes picky eating. Instead, make it a habit to encourage the child to stay at the table for the scheduled meal time, even if they don't choose to eat. Tip number five. Have fun and be creative with food. Vegetables can be served with a child's favorite dip or sauce. Food can be cut into various shapes and sizes with cookie cutters. Breakfast foods can be offered for dinner. Food can also be prepared using brightly colored ingredients. Don't be afraid to go all out in being creative when it comes to preparing the food you are giving your child. Tip number six, include the child in the meal planning and prepping. When you're out at the grocery store, 
Ask the child to help you choose the ingredients. Ask the child what fruits, vegetables, and other healthy meal and snack options they want. Don't get used to buying food that your child doesn't even eat. And when you're at home, ask help from the child in rinsing the fruits and vegetables, in cooking, and in setting the table. Tip number seven, be a good foodie example. Show your child that you're also a fan of eating healthy foods because it is more likely that the child will follow your eating habits too. Tip number eight, minimize distractions. Don't get used to having your child use electronic gadgets during mealtime because this may disrupt the child's focus while eating. The media can also influence the child to crave more or eat more sugary or less nutritious food choices. Tip number nine, avoid offering dessert as a reward. Withholding desserts may mean that desserts are the best food which will only increase the child's desire for sweets. You could select one or two nights a week as dessert nights, or you may also change your dessert selections to healthy fruits, yogurt, or other healthy food choices. These are just some of the quick tips that you can do for a child who tends to be a picky eater. But, if you are concerned that picky eating is already harming the child's growth and development, call your pediatrician. Your child's doctor can plot the child's growth on a growth chart. They can also provide expert opinion on the types and amounts of food that the child eats. This of course can help ease you of your worries. And that's it for our episode today on Brightest Life. We would like to thank mayoclinic.org for the ideas on their website regarding nutrition tips. If you found this video helpful, let us know by commenting on our comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and share our videos too. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more videos.